this week, we would do a week in my life. Probably Monday through Thursday. So if you're new here, my name's Alexis. I'm 24, I live in Manhattan, and I work from home. I also am an actor, auditioning, doing theater, also doing YouTube. You're watching me right now. Just sat down to work, have my protein shake I made, and yesterday was Easter, and I made deviled eggs. So I have some leftover ones. They're so ugly. They're delicious, but they're terrible looking. I, fun fact, I hate eggs. They make me feel nauseous, but I love a deviled egg. That's a very different story. If you watched my last video, I was having an eye issue. My eyes were super red all the way around, and you can tell there's still a little bit of redness, but it's really clearing up. I think it'll be gone by the end of the week. I did figure out it was the product Tretinoin. Trent Trentinoin? I still don't even know how to say it, but it was in a skincare product I was using and my skin was just too sensitive for it. Like it didn't react well to it. It was drying it out. And then on top of that, I was using this cleanser that had salicylic acid in it, which I've been using for years. So you'd think it'd be fine, right? But apparently because my eyes and mouth and chin were so dry, it was just drying it out further. So I stopped using that face wash and I'm only using like a very, very basic one and the dermatologist prescribed me hydrocortisone. That's like a little bit higher percentage than what's over the counter. Put those two together, just a very simple moisturizer and mwah, I'm getting better. I was literally spiraling last week when they just kept getting worse and worse. Honestly, I think I was just making it worse by using too many weird products together to try to fix it. I'm gonna eat, start working. Happy Monday. I made my pot of coffee for the week this morning. So today I have hot coffee. I'll put it in my pitcher and it'll be iced coffee the rest of the week. Also, I talked about this Trader Joe's oat milk brown sugar creamer a few videos ago. I just bought it. It's incredible. I love it. Anytime my neighbors upstairs watch a movie, I feel like I am also watching the movie. I guess they're watching a movie at 11 a.m. on a Monday, but it's very, very loud. It sounds like Harry Potter or something, like kind of kind of magical, but a little spooky. That, that could be way off. I hate Harry Potter, a very unpopular opinion. I'm not a fan. I'm not gonna eat lunch yet, but I'm gonna make a salad with tofu in it for lunch. So I wanna make the tofu now, so it's ready when I make my lunch. I had this big plan yesterday when I went grocery shopping to get stuff to make a noodle bowl for lunch. Like, you know, noodles, vegetables, and then like a peanut dressing, tofu, great. Well, I forgot to buy the noodles. So <laughs> we're working with what we have because I don't feel like going to get noodles. I think I'm gonna make like a kale salad and then cut up bell peppers, scallions, and make the tofu and make like a peanut dressing. And we'll make it a salad. The last three times I went to Whole Foods, they were out of extra firm tofu, but they had it back in stock, so. I really hope you can hear this. So I bought paper towels and toilet paper in bulk the other day, but I didn't have anywhere to put them, so I just have them on top of my cabinets up here and then I can never reach them. So then I have to get this little bar stool and climb. Made my lunch. It kind of looks really good. I'm hoping that it tastes how I think it's gonna taste. Um, but I'm gonna keep working, eat my salad. Well, there's nothing really else to say. Hello, I'm eating almonds. So the workday is over. For the past hour or so, I've been filming a closet clean out video, which is already live on my channel, if you wanna check it out. Now I'm taking a little break from filming that to have a meeting. Um, I have a Zoom meeting with something regarding my YouTube channel. So we'll see how that goes. All right, I did it. It took a little longer than I scheduled for the day, but it is 6.53. I finished filming my closet video. There it is, look how nice. Um, if you are curious, go watch it, I already posted. Sorry I haven't really been vlogging all late afternoon, evening. That kind of took up my time. Yesterday, like I said earlier, it was Easter, so me and Jonah made a little Easter dinner. Chicken pot pie. Okay, I feel like this doesn't look as appetizing as it did last night. Microwave this baby. Good morning, running very late as usual, going to a personal training session at the gym. So I'll see you when I come back. Woo! Good morning. It is like 39 degrees right now, so it's kind of a bummer. Yesterday I was doing closet clean out, couldn't decide if I want to put my puffer away or not. Glad I didn't. But that's okay, it's gonna get warm. Friday's gonna be 70. It's all good. Now I'm back, I'm hungry, so I'm gonna make some dinner. What? 
I'm unwell. I'm gonna make some breakfast and I can't decide if I wanna have a protein smoothie or bone broth. Hear me out, hear me out. There's this girl on TikTok that I watch and her name is Shelby Sacco, I think. She drinks bone broth every morning and I'm like, and apparently it helps heal your gut. It's a good source of protein. I'm kind of thinking we try it because I bought some, so why not? Like what, what do I keep this in? And I have to refill my gallon water bottle. I did so bad yesterday. Deviled eggs and bone broth. To the average person, this is probably like the grossest breakfast in the entire world. But I just realized I never updated you on any plans for today. I am currently working and also about to upload a YouTube video, gonna upload the closet clean out, finishing some final touches for the editing. And after that, we're gonna eat lunch, you know, just do normal work stuff, keep working. Then tonight, I am going to take a dance class with my friend Troy, haven't seen him in forever. I'm a little nervous to take the dance class tonight because I've never taken this teacher before, so I have no idea what to expect, but um, I'm glad I have my friend Troy with me. <laughs> Jonah Impromptu showed up and I don't know if you remember, I did a vlog like two videos ago and Jonah and I went downtown to get some canned coffee at this place that cans your coffee and they were out of cans, but he was just down near there and he stopped in and they had the canned coffee. So he got it for us to try. How fun is that? No, I got not convincing reaction. I got confused at first. Wow. I like it. It doesn't taste like anything, but I all did just finish another coffee. No, it doesn't taste like anything really neat, but I also just finished another coffee. It's really cold considering I just brought it all the way uptown. Yeah. All right, and I'm off. I'm going to my dance class. Work day's over. I changed. Here's what I'm wearing right now. Honestly, not even really cute, but I'm gonna go. I'm kind of really nervous to go to this dance class because I've never been, but I know it'll be okay. So I'll talk to you after. Well, I'm back. Come on. I don't have any videos of me dancing. I didn't record in the class. And then my friend Troy was there and after we got Boba and he hung out here for a little bit, we caught up, I hadn't seen him in a while, so. Now it is 9.30 and I just made dinner. I had just made some kale gnocchi with pesto and some frozen carrots from Trader Joe's. It is not the best dinner, but it's what we're working with. Dance class was great. I love the teacher. I love the vibes in the class. I think I need to work on not beating myself up so much when I can't remember something or I miss a step. I expect myself to be in the place I was two years ago when I was dancing full time, going to class every single day, auditioning every single day, and now it's just not that anymore. Like the idea of the performer I thought I would be when I was 24 is very different than the performer I am now because of the pandemic and everything. So I just need to not be so hard on myself and just continue taking class because I beat up myself for messing up, but I could be in more classes and I just need to keep working on that skill. So that's my life advice to myself. Day two of drinking my bone broth in the morning. Ignore my squeaky floors. I like it way better today, and I don't know if it's because I'm not eating it with deviled eggs today. That was probably a big mistake. Two day old deviled eggs, I might add. So I went to the gym. I didn't have an assigned workout today because I'm doing like a workout program with a personal trainer. Oh, also, if you've been watching my vlogs and I said I was doing 75 soft challenge, so for 75 days straight, you work out once a day, read 10 pages a day, get outside every day, drink a liter of water every day, and something else. I've already failed. I've already not done something every day, so I need to restart. But I'm also working with a personal trainer and I have like a personalized program. But today, I did not have a workout, so I just went to the gym and I walked for 30 minutes. I've been trying the 12 3 30, which I've heard a lot of people talk about. It's walking on an incline of 12 and a speed of three for 30 minutes. I really like it. It's like a good workout. And I used to think walking on the treadmill at the gym was pointless, especially in New York where I could just walk outside but I really like walking on that incline. So that's definitely something that I'm gonna do more when I don't have an assigned workout. 
So remember yesterday when I said that I hate eggs? That's still true, but I cooked them for some reason. Every once in a while I get this urge. Like I, okay, I love deviled eggs, I love hard boiled eggs. Those are different. But like scrambled eggs, over easy, sunny side up, all of that, not a fan. Every once in a while, if I have eggs, I get the urge to cook them. And then, so I put them on this piece of toast that I had. I also don't have a toaster, so I had to toast the toast on the stove, which was fine because I don't toast things that much, so I don't need a toaster. Now that I've cooked it, I'm feeling a little nauseous. So let's see if I throw up when I eat this. Got my daily harvest, so I'm gonna unpack this. I have a meeting in 10 minutes for something regarding my YouTube channel, and I'm already kind of half changed, but I need to change so I can go to my dance class after. It's a tap class, and... That's the updates. Okay, did my call. It was faster than I thought. Also, I'm so stupid. I thought it was like a Zoom call, so I'm sitting there like smiling, and then I'm like, wait, where's the link? And then it was a phone call. Okay, let's do a little Daily Harvest unboxing. See what I got this week. Also, I'm in no way sponsored by Daily Harvest. I just think they're fun. So I got Daily Harvest one time before, and it was a little over a month ago but I don't use it weekly because I still also like cook my own stuff. So it lasts me about two weeks. I think I like the bowls better than the smoothies because I make my own smoothies all the time. So I feel like unless I really want to try a new flavor, I don't really need that. I got carrot and coconut curry, butternut squash and kale shakshuka, spinach and shiitake grits, cauliflower rice and pesto, Brussels sprouts and tahini, and lentil and tomato bolognese. And then for smoothies, I got blueberry and hemp, and acai and cherry. And then I got these little fig bites, raspberry and fig. There's raspberry, almond, coconut, cranberry seed, hascat berry, I've never heard of that, and vanilla bean. And to be honest, I kind of want to try one right now. Okay, they have kind of melted to Together. That, that's really mushy. I feel like they're supposed to be a little colder than this. That's really weird. Hmm. Okay, at first I thought I hated it, but now I really like that. I could eat three more. dance class, making my daily harvest. It is the butternut squash and kale shakshuka. Hopefully that's good. And then Jonah's here. Hey. <laughs> and we stopped at Chipotle. He got some dinner and I got a bag of chips and queso. So we're gonna eat dinner. And that's what we're gonna do. Good morning everyone. Happy Thursday. I forgot to tell you that I am auditioning for the Radio City Christmas Spectacular today. I know, kind of random. This is my first in-person audition since 2020, so we're going for it. We're just gonna see what happens. It's not for a rocket, I'm too short. Even though being a rocket was my dream as a child, I did the summer intensives, all of that, but unfortunately, too short. They have a female dance ensemble. So I am going to audition today. I have no expectations, I am just hoping to do my best see what happens. I'm a little nervous because I literally have not done an in-person audition in years, but we're gonna do it. So, I have a leotard on, sweatpants, and I'm getting ready to go. I have to leave in like 10 minutes. So, sorry I didn't really talk to you that much this morning, but maybe I'll vlog a little bit of my experience and then we'll chat after. walked a few miles home. I don't know why. I'm back from the audition. 
Sorry to just spring that on you guys. Like, I, that was really left field. I'm going to audition for the Christmas Spectacular. Um, I got a boba on the way home, and I got a grilled cheese from Pratt, my favorite. I am warm. The way they were doing auditions for this this year, you could just apply online, send your headshot and resume, and then you got an appointment. So I got my appointment a few days ago, and then my job was nice enough to let me go to the audition since it's during work hours. And there was a lot of girls there. I'm guessing they were seeing between like 500 and 800 girls today for this female dance ensemble. My time slot was at 12.15 and there was probably like 150 girls there. But there was about 75 girls for my like audition room that I went in and auditioned. And the whole audition was very well organized. It was very fun. But from the 75 girls in my room, they kept four. It was fun. It was my first audition back like in-person dance call since the pandemic happened. So I'm very proud of myself for going. Here's to many more auditions. But yeah, I took the bus there, but then I decided to walk back. Why not? So now I need to get out of this leotard, eat my grilled cheese and hop online and start working again because I've been gone for a few hours. Happy Thursday. Pret grilled cheese is my favorite, right? Back in 2019 when I was auditioning all the time, I lived at Pret. I loved the Pret grilled cheese. I loved the tomato soup with feta my go-to combo. But I haven't had a grilled cheese from Pratt in like two years. In my mind, it's like the best thing ever, but I think they changed the recipe. Now it's just a piece of bread with some cheese. It used to have like mayo in it, which is controversial because I don't like mayo, but I liked it in that grilled cheese. It's so different now. My big three. Pratt grilled cheese, Pratt tomato soup, and boba. It is, oh my God, it's seven o'clock. I thought it was like six. We're getting crazy this Thursday night. Not really, I have no plans. I'm probably gonna edit this vlog. I am, right now I just bought a template for my new WordPress site, so I'm gonna set it up and hopefully start working on my vlog. It's been something I've been kind of pushing off for a while now, but I'm really excited about it and I really wanna get it going. I just documented a ton of my expenses, I replied to some emails, so we're being productive tonight. I've been super craving Chinese food, so I got sesame chicken, hot and sour soup, and dumplings. Look at that, delicious. I have yet to find like my local Chinese food place that I love near my apartment. I had one in Washington Heights that I absolutely loved for years, like before I even moved there. So tough shoes to fill. So we'll see if this place is any good. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here since tomorrow's Friday and the weekend will be starting. So it's the end of the week. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you're still watching this video, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.